Alright guys, it's been a long time since I made a video since last week and today I've got a few things to take care of on the red truck today. Uh, it's going to be kind of like a random video of me fixing it a little bit. Um, here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, a while back I, uh, I was going four-wheeling and there's been like one or two videos uh, besides this one explaining that. Uh, but what had happened was uh, I busted the CV and uh, in another video I put a clamp on it instead of replacing the whole boot because it wasn't torn. Um, but what it also had happened and it took a Suzuki Samurai and a Jeep Wrangler four door with big knobby tires to get this truck out. Um, but what had happened is, is when they pulled it out and uh, I think the gravel was up to here on the truck so uh, it broke some stuff up front. Now the bumper, I'm probably going to replace this summer. I'm trying to redo the clip of this truck. Um, I had the truck grill painted a while ago at the school I used to go to. Um, but the paint is starting to come off and you know I got chrome which doesn't really match. So I'm kind of deciding right now between going all repainting this uh, black. Because uh, I do like, it's easier to see in the sun, but I got these red accents in there and I love those so I'm either debating on going back to silver so it matches the chrome on the uh, parking lights or maybe taping it off and and black plasti dipping them to match the grill um, it also I'm not this is sort of unrelated but um, I lost the bolt that holds it on it's a little Allen on the other side so that's dangling the front of the truck doesn't look bad uh, but the busted end cap and these are like five or six bucks um, I'm gonna go ahead and just replace that and try to it's hard to see but when that broke it let the whole thing fly up so the bumpers a smidge bit bent but it's not rusted or anything so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that uh, but today I'm going to be tackling, um, and I finally got the license plate on the front of the truck, um, but I'm going to go ahead and get uh, a bolt for this to, um, to get all that fixed up today. So that's the plan. Hopefully, hopefully the rain holds off. It's supposed to be raining later today. Uh, since I got the uh, camera on, I'm going to just do a few little updates on some other random stuff on the truck. Right here, this truck... Uh, these 87s have really any of the 80s pickups for Toyota's had a lot of rust problems. So I uh, I have a can of rust converter, uh, and I did the f uh, the the floor like that, and I put fiberglass in because you can't find floor pans. But um, so I just touched everything up, and then this summer uh, it really looks like garbage. I'm going to uh, just touch the truck up a little bit. And uh, I'll do the same with the frame. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, for now I'm going to run to the store and get a bolt to get these lights back up and working. I'll do a review on these lights sometime. Uh, they're really cheapy little lights, but um, got them for free. Uh, it was a present from uh, my friends from high school. So. They're pretty good lights. Anyways, that light was submerged, so I'm not sure if it still works because when the truck went in, it came up to here. So without me yabbering and, and jabbering, uh, I'm gonna go to the store. As before I go, I need to get one of these bolts off, which is part of the reason I'm not taking this truck because I don't want to drive with a dangly light. Actually, you know what? That's the problem with these. I do not like these Allen bolts the lights themselves are great and also one critique I've got is there's kind of a limited range of how you can move these so hopefully that doesn't go missing but um, I don't like these they're a pain in the butt and you got to get this between the light and uh, it's kind of not fun so all right now I'm gonna go run to the store and get some replacements Alright, I got what I needed, which uh, 
air conditioning's not working. Uh, I think it might just be a tad low. Uh, in the summer, I was messing around with the levels and everything, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and add it a little bit to it just to see if it does it, because if not, I think the compressor might be bad, again, for like the eighth time. So um, I'll add just a little bit and see, if, and see what the pressures do, because right now, um, there's not enough pressure to really do much. Um, so, anyways, I got these cool little nifty screw things uh, instead of the Allens, because the Allens were a huge pain in the butt to tighten. So, my theory is, is getting the screwdriver behind there to tighten them up once in a while and uh, would be a lot easier. If I was thinking, I would have gotten Loctite, so this wouldn't have been a problem. But I'm on a budget, so we're gonna. Just going to tighten these up as best as possible and uh, get the lights pointed the right way. Sorry for the bad lighting, but it's like 20 mile an hour winds out there and I can't have the truck outside while I'm doing this video because you guys won't be able to hear a thing that I am saying. So. Before I get too far ahead of myself, okay, I'm gonna have to find a different way to do this. Um, I'll probably end up getting Loctite in the future. Now, the reason that I switched over to this and I didn't go back to Allen's is if you ever if you have lights like this and you're putting them on your truck these screws right here if they're allens you get them like this long is the tool they give you and it's really tough to sneak in there and tighten these but with the screws uh, I can get them a lot tighter and I can actually get in there to take them on and off if I need to so I'm going to go see if this one still works. It was submerged under water for quite a while and they, uh, they're pretty cheap little lights. So. Alright, well they work and I'm probably going to mess with that one tomorrow. I'm running out of daylight and I want to get this air conditioning thing fixed too. So. All right guys, so I'm going to uh, hook up all these gauges and see if I can't get the air conditioning working. Um, it wouldn't be a big deal, but it gets really hot in St. Louis and muggy and I, it's even rolling the windows down really doesn't do much. So, and then in the winter time, I can't use my defrost very well because the AC usually helps to clear that up. So I'm going to try to fix it again for the fifth time because this will be the third compressor on this truck. Uh, thank you to uh, a certain automotive parts store, which uh, I wouldn't recommend, but I'm not going to go bash the name. So. Uh, this will be the third compressor on it. The system's been flushed. Uh, the evaporator under the dash has been replaced once, and then the valve, the expansion valve, has been replaced twice. I filled it up the third time, and then uh, compressor kicks on. It's getting pressure, but then these gauges uh, don't really show like the compressor's doing anything. So. Uh, I'm wondering if it's a little low still, so I'm just going to top it up. I'm not going crazy with it. Um, just to get an idea, because if, it, if I put more refrigerant in and it still doesn't move the gauge at all, then I'm going to obviously quit filling it. And I usually don't fill it like this because I can't tell how much is going in, but I can get a rough, a rough guesstimate on the, on the pressures to... Uh, to see a Lotus. So I need to figure out the temperature it is in the garage. And... All right, so the situation, and hopefully this shows up well, and it really doesn't. 
this GoPro doesn't really show detail that well up close. So the static temperature outside is about 60 degrees. So I'm going to nudge it up to about 40 because that's our that's my static that's my static temperature. So and I took an AC class a while ago, but from what I understand, this gauge is supposed to sit roughly, and this is converted to R134A, it's supposed to sit roughly at the ambient temperature, and it is uh, way below that. This is just a rough guesstimation, so I'm just going to go ahead and charge it just a smidgen up, because regardless of what it should be, it's definitely low. Um, I got a little irritated, and I... Uh, bumped a line and some of it came out. So I'm going to recharge it now that I got all that taken care of. I'm going to just purge a little bit out of the line. That was weird. And I wouldn't look at it. And don't be me, wear safety glasses. But and I purged. So now I'm going to start adding. And if anyone's doing it, never add to the high side, always add to the uh, low side. You know what? It probably would help me if I had the car running with the AC on. What I'm going to do is going to shut the AC on and off so that it goes back to static pressure. I'm also looking to see how quick it goes back. Um, if it goes back not quick enough, there's something blocking the lines. So, uh. Alright guys, um, this is the final verdict on this. I just put in a pretty good chunk of a can and uh, watch what happens when I rub it you see how that one's at zero now this gauge has not moved no matter how much I add to it so I'm gonna shut the truck off and see how much, uh, where it's at static pressure wise. Let's see where this settles out at. This gauge has not moved at all. This one bumped up about, um, about 10 PSI static. This one has not moved at all. And a trick one line should be very hot and one line should be very cold. Both of these lines, the bottom one is significantly higher, so the high side is a lot hot, uh, warmer, but if I'm being honest, I, don't, I think there's something wrong with the compressor, which is uh, why I bought a cheapy can. Uh, so that was a fail, but you know what? I think at this point, what I'm going to have to do, and I hate doing it because AC work is so expensive, I'm going to have to take this to a shop and uh, have them tell me what's wrong. I'll take it back to the shop that did the uh, expansion valve and see, you know, have them look at it. So, uh, but if any of you know what would cause um, the gauges not to move, the low side moved, and the high side's not moving, it's not really, and even the low side's not really reducing pressure at all. It just kind of sits. So, but it definitely, the compressor's doing enough to suck it out of the can. I don't think it's maybe doing enough to build pressure. So, if any of you have seen that, and the compressor is new, uh, the lines up here are new, the whole system's been flushed, it's got a new uh, accumulator, dryer, whatever, and then the evaporator core on the inside and the expansion valve has all been replaced. Expansion valve got replaced twice. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Uh, it's already getting too long of a video. Uh, so that's fixed. And then next, this coming couple weeks here, I'm going to take the front end off the truck, uh, just the grill and the bumper, and get that all straightened out and painted. Uh, a lot of stuff on this truck, I'm going to really sand down the frame 
and uh, fix some surface rust. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, notifications, and leave a comment down below if you know what's going on with the AC. And uh, you guys have a nice day.